Hi, everybody. Bruce Jones here, and welcome. It's a Monday afternoon at 5 o'clock, and uh, I thought I would do a quick training broadcast on uh, some InDesign training. So we've been getting some um, good questions about bleeding images um, on the pages. So we're gonna that's what we're going to cover today, and we're just going to kind of do a little training on that. And you can put... Um, any questions you have in the comments and that kind of stuff, and I'll check those. Uh, this is brought to you by my book, The Self-Publishing Secrets. You can pick that up at uh, uh, publishingsecretsbook.com. It's, the, it's either in the description down below the link, or you can see it up at the top of the page, or it's in the comments somewhere. So that's available. So make sure you check that out, and uh, we'll be having that. Put that up right here. So, All right, so let's get into it. So this is what we're going to talk about, is doing... Let me just get all my stuff here and uh, get all this prepared and ready here. So the question is about doing book bleed. So what does that mean in a book? So let's just take one of my books. That's right here. And uh, let me just put this together, make sure I have everything running. Put this over here. Okay, there we go. Just so I can see any comments that you have, I have it up on another screen, and uh, I'll make sure that I can can get that. All right, so let's just take one of my books. This is a, one of my children's books, and when uh, children's book uh, authors or picture book authors talk about bleeding an image off of a page uh, in a file, this is what they mean. So if you look at the images in this book, the images bleed right off the side of the page. So there are two ways to set a book up in InDesign. If you're doing a regular ordinary book or even a coloring book, you normally will set the book up with a margin. And KDP, which is where we usually focus on these days, uh, KDP Amazon, I think it has a quarter of an inch. I like doing a half inch, but it's a clear area that runs around the entire edge of your book. So any book that you pick up, uh, let me just grab, uh, there's a book right here, it's just a regular book, this is just a textbook. You'll see that there is a clear air. So this is the void area around the edge, and that's the normal way that most books are done with um, a margin. And I like a half inch, and if you go thicker, if you're up you know, pretty thick, might have to be a little bit bigger so that stuff doesn't run into the gutter, but you want a nice, decent margin with nothing running out into that. If you're doing a children's book or a picture book, very often you want to run the image right off the side of the page. So that takes setting your book up in a special way, um, you know, and then KDP gives you those specs, and that's what we're going to cover. I'm going to show you how to take a normal page and set it up so that your book bleeds correctly um, for uh, KDP. All right, so let me bring up. Let's pull this down right here. Let's get my screen going. All right, so let's do this, and we'll do this. So this is how a normal page it looks like we have a comment from Angela. Let's see here. Let me make sure I can see that. And she's making a comment, which is always doing good stuff. Uh, I can't quite see it there, but anyways, we're going to go. All right. So what I have set up on here, we're going to do this. I'm going to duplicate this setup in the bleed form so you can see um, how I do it. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. This has two images on it. They're right here, this is a normal setup. And I'm gonna rebuild this and I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it. All right, so let me bring up a new document. And I'm just gonna set up a new document. And first I'm gonna set it up as if we don't have any bleeds and then I'm gonna set it up um, so that we do. All right, so this is the InDesign page. And I'm just going to set this up for inches. We're just going to set up two pages. We're going to make it eight by 10, two pages. And at the moment, I'm going to have a half inch margin running all the way around the outer edge. So I'm going to just create that. So this might be a typical children's book or picture book that you have set up. And you'll notice that when I set the half inch margin, I have this little pink line that runs around the outside. So outside here is the void area. We don't want anything to go in there. So let's bring in the images and I'll show you what that means. So if we're doing this without the bleed, we're gonna place the image 
So I'll just bring in a couple images from my picture book. And if we weren't going to bleed, we would just put them and have them run out to that outer edge. So this is the book set up with no bleed. You'll see there's a void area. There's a white area all the way around the outside. Let me bring in the other picture. Oops, didn't want to do that. Let's get the other one. Okay, so here's my book set up. Let's get this here. It's a nice big picture. And this is just a regular InDesign file. And all I'm doing is just setting this up quickly so you can see how it is before we do the bleeds. Okay, so this is, if you weren't doing any bleeds, here would be how our page would be set up. We would have pictures that run on the inside. We have a half inch margin all the way around. Okay, so that's pretty standard way, whether it's text or pictures or anything, this is set up correctly for um, an InDesign book. Now we wanna bleed the images. Now what we would wanna do is have these images go right off the page, just like I showed an example, just right here. So first thing I'm gonna do is save this. So I'm always, always make sure you save. That's really, really important. So save as, we'll just call this bleed example. Okay. So to do the bleed on uh, InDesign, you need to add a eighth of an inch to the top, to the outside, and to the bottom. So let me come back here for a moment and just talk about that. So let's come over here. All right. So if you're doing a, a book and you're gonna bleed the images, they need to have some extra image run off the top, the outside, and the bottom that the printer can trim off. The reason that this works is that these images, the, when they're set up, they actually run right off the page and the printer trims off the top, the outside, and the bottom. And the amount that they trim is an eighth of an inch. So you need it to add an extra eighth of an inch to the top, to the outside edge, and to the bottom, but not to the gutter, not to the inside, right? It's only on three sides, top, outside, and bottom. We're gonna add an extra eighth of an inch. So this book is an eight by 10. So let's come back to my book here. Oops, over here, this one. Okay, so this is an eight by 10. So I need to add an extra eighth of an inch up here at the top, over here on the outside, and along the bottom. And then I'm gonna to need to run my images right into that. So the easiest way to do that is, and I often will do it this way, I often will set my book up at the trim size, eight by 10, and just do the book, make the book. And then I'll come back and set up all my bleeds. So I'm gonna come back to my page setup. Oops, let's go back to page and design. Go into my page setup, right here, document setup. And you'll notice that the width, it says right here. I don't know if I can make this bigger. Let me see if I can do that. Uh, not sure. Um, you notice it says eight by 10 right here. So we're gonna make that one eighth of an inch wider. Remember we're doing the outside. So I'm just gonna take this and add 0.125 of an inch, okay? So that's the eighth inch in decimal equivalence is 0.125. For the height, remember I'm adding an eighth of an inch at the top, eighth of an inch at the bottom, so 0.25, right? So be 0.125 plus 0.125 is two. Remember your fractions, an eighth of an inch and an eighth of an inch is a quarter of an inch. So what we've done is we've added 0.125, an extra piece on the outside, in the top, okay? But it's gonna, we're not gonna know exactly where that goes. So, so what I normally do when I'm doing this is I also change my margins so I can see where these borders are. Because if it's, if I'm just adding some width to it, I don't know whether it's on the inside or the outside. So on the top, I'm gonna change my margin to 0.125. My bottom is 0.125. We're gonna unclick this so we can make them different, 0.125. The inside, we're not adding anything, so we're gonna leave that at zero, and the outside is 0.125. So remember we have these little pink lines. So now by doing this, by changing my margins, so I change my size and I change my margins, and I hit okay, and you'll now notice 
that this little pink line is up here. You notice how it's, let's see if I can zoom in so you can see that. Hopefully you can see that, all right? So now, maybe that's just a little too big. There we go. So now you'll see there's an extra eighth of an inch around the top, an eighth of an inch on the side, and an eighth of an inch on the bottom. That's the extra bit of paper I need that they can trim off to make the bleeds. But the inside, uh-uh, right? There's nothing there, added there. So now what I do is now I need to increase the image size or expand it depending on how much you have and hopefully your image is big enough still 300 dots per inch so i'm just going to blow this image up and i know i have enough and my image is re resolution is fine then right to the edge okay so i don't have enough on the bottom so i'm going to stretch this a little bit and bring it right to the edge and then line it up you don't want it to go over this line onto the other page you want to bring it right to the edge and the same thing here, we can expand this. I don't think I have enough there, so we'll just increase this. So now my page size, my images are running right to the edge over the top. Now here's a little pro tip. I'm gonna give you a pro tip that I have sort of discovered lately with KDP. Let's make this over the edge here, there we go. And that is that they're getting very, very picky. So you now notice my images are all bleeding off the page. That little pink line that you see right here, hopefully that comes through. That looks like it'll come through. Um, that little pink line is where they're gonna trim. That's what they're gonna cut off. But here's a pro tip. So KDP has been getting very, very picky about uh, bleeds. So it's one of the things that shows up in the How to Publish a Facebook group. Uh, there's a question going, they set up their bleeds, they did everything right, but they're still complaining. So what I've noticed is, even though I brought my image right to this edge, okay, right to here, in reality, there's still sometimes a little teeny tiny white gap in here. You would think we brought it right to the edge, but in reality, we haven't. So what I've been learning to, what I've done now, and I've been teaching other people to do, is take this image just off the page. I don't know whether you can see it, but right here, let's see if we can get in close enough so you can see. Hopefully the resolution will work. There's a black line right here. That's the actual edge of the page, right? Here's the edge of the page, there's the bleed. And I want you to take this image just off a little bit, just like that, enough so that it's off the edge of the page. And what I have found is if you do this, when you make the PDF, it will crop correctly and you won't have this complaint from KDP. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm just gonna pull it off out into this pasteboard area. It doesn't, it doesn't any real distance. You just need to get it off the edge of the page. And we're just gonna do this, okay? And there you go, and that's it. That's sort of my pro tip for today is to just bleed it just off the edge of the page. When you make the PDF for uploading to KDP for your book, it will now crop it at exactly the right spot. In fact, let's do that. I'll crop this, show you that everything is good. Um, so let's just save this. Also, the same thing, remember, we don't want any part of the image from the left page going onto the right or any of the bright image going onto the left. So be sure you go right down to that gutter, right on the edge. And let's just export this. I'm just going to go to export, and we'll just do this as a PDF. Print. Do this. And remember, it's going to be the high-quality print. Other than that, you don't need to set any of these things. Just leave them alone. Just pick the high-quality print for KDP if you're doing a print book. And we hit export. And now if you look at, let me bring up my my thing here and let's find my the example we'll open that up and here's the page and remember if you have a pdf you go to oh, don't be acrobat you can go down to the lower left corner and you can just sort of move your cursor into this area and you'll see what page size is 8.12 they just don't show you the five 10.25, so we're perfect, right? That's the size of the page, even though we bled a little bit off. So um, hopefully that um, will answer your questions. All right, let's go to, 
right here and come back here and that, all right so let's just let me check and see if there's any questions anybody has any questions there on uh on broadcast just make sure there aren't any and this i'll leave this up for a little while so you can see it. but that's it that's basically how you do it and um just see if we have any questions nope doesn't look like it so that's cool um all right so there we go that's it that is how you um set up bleed for an indesign file for any page site you're going to do you add that extra eighth of an inch top outside and bottom and then just bleed the image just a little bit off um and it should be fine even if you are using um an image that's all white you want to make sure it's still still bleeding off like let's say you had an image in fact i brought one just so you could see it if your image looked like this where it's mostly it's the image is on a white background, but there's actually artwork here. You want to do the same thing. You want to make sure that this extra stuff bleeds off on the outside of your of your page. Even though it looks like there's nothing here, there really is something here. And the, the algorithms that uh, KDP uses will, um, whoops, oh, let me show you this. Didn't do this quite right. Do, 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 do. I have gotten it too messy here. So what I was saying is even if you have an image like this, and let me make sure this is right, um, that has white all around, it comes in with white all around, you still want to make sure that this white bleeds off of the of the page. So hopefully that, oh, there we go. Now we can see it. Um, but this image, so even though this is an image was that came in, um, that has white all the way around, you want to make sure this is bleeding off the side so uh, so that the algorithms in KDP will pick that up. So it goes right to the edge. Okay. There we go. All right. So hopefully that's good. Uh, keep those questions coming. Send in the questions, and uh, we will, will try to answer them in another InDesign training session. And make sure you pick up my book, The Self-Publishing Secrets. You can get that at... Um, uh, publishingsecretsbook.com. The link will be below or above or somewhere like that. So, all right, we'll see you next time. All right, bye-bye.